the murder mystery night where we both dressed up as drag queens. <laughs> Carl and I, still in drag, kept heading over to the shop to embarrass the young man behind the counter there. <laughs> Carl, how many boxes of matches did we buy? <laughs> we didn't need any matches. <laughs> Then are the famous Eurovision Song Contest parties every year, oh, yeah. where both Steve and Carl pull out all the stops to ensure their friends have the most wonderful time, where we watch Eurovision and sing karaoke afterwards, keeping warm around a smoky wood burning fire. Oh yes. Yes, that reminds me of those camping trips we used to go on. <laughs> Singing those traditional camping songs for camp campers around the old Camp fire, where the mushrooms used to grow and your muscles used to show. And uh, Steve would tell stories of a strange caterpillar named Fettle, <laughs> who would eat a lot of cabbages and then be sick. Yes, those camping trips were great until the night when the rain poured from the sky. Relentless and oblivious to the campers that were being dripped on and then poured on. And following the disastrous events of September 2012, nothing but nothing was able to persuade those hardened campers to partake in camp activities again. <laughs> what now? And you, Steve's mum, Olga, oh. and his dad, Eddie, very well. It's a great shame they're not with us to be able to enjoy this celebration. And of course, there was Anne-Marie, Steve's little sister. I don't need to tell everyone how close those two were. Anne-Marie loved a party and would have been proud of her brother and his husband today. <laughs>